we're gonna need a bigger wall. That's because in this review, we're going to be having a look at the Megalodon Replica Tooth from the folks over at Master Replicas Group. The Megalodon, Carcaracles Megalodon, meaning Big Tooth, is an extinct species of shark that lived approximately 23 million years ago. It was during the early Miocene to the end of the Pliocene era. It was formerly thought to be a member of the Lamidae family closely related to the Great White Shark, or Carcaridon carcarius. A big thank you, by the way, to the folks over at Master Replicas Group for sending this over my way. Always been a big fan of sharks. Super excited to have a look at this. But before we do that, just before we do that, we have to figure out how big this is. Well, at least from the case standpoint, before we have a look at the tooth itself, the case is exactly 8.5 inches high. If you're somebody that needs their measurements in centimeters, I would be more than happy to oblige. 22, almost 22 centimeters tall, 21.6 to be exact. What's really neat about the Master Replicas Group pieces that they sell is that they are recreated directly from Smithsonian assets. So if you were to go into the Smithsonian, you would have actually found the real Megalodon tooth in which this recreated replica was based from. Down below, each one of their replicas do feature a little placard here on the front, just a sticker that they've put on the front here. It's Master Replicas, Megalodon Tooth, one-to-one -one scale. Also located down below, and I'll locate that down below this video, is their website, www.masterreplicasgroup.com. You can see how it's been displayed, very carefully packed inside almost a shadow box frame. And there's a couple of little pins on the side. You can actually take the pins off if you want and remove that altogether. The approximate size of just the tooth itself is 5.5 inches by four inches. We'll go ahead and take the pins all off. Approximate weight of this, by the way, is 1.5 pounds, and we'll very carefully, very carefully remove the top. This in itself does have some weight to it. We'll just lay that down, and we'll have a look at the Megalodon tooth. Now, this is pretty incredible, I have to admit, physically holding this in hand. And while this isn't the actual tooth pulled from the jaw of the Megalodon, the mighty Megalodon, this is as close as you're gonna get, and it's fantastic to think that this would have been paired with several other rows of sharp teeth as the Megalodon bit into whatever it was currently hunting. I mean, it sort of puts things in perspective when I put it against, say, the size of my hand. Now, I'm not a big, hand, a large hand individual, but just to put that in perspective of how big this tooth is versus, say, the size of my hand, it's pretty incredible. The Megalodon lynx reached as far up as 60 to 70 feet. Could you imagine a 70 foot uh, long shark? An estimated maximum weight of over 60 tons. Megalodon easily is the largest known predator in Earth's history. And I could certainly understand how just gauging it by solely one tooth. The Just the level of detail to this is fantastic. I mean, you can even see like how serrated these are. If you look very closely to it, Master Replicas has recreated right down to the very serrated edges there of the tooth. You can just imagine how that would be sawing into the flesh of whatever unfortunately met the paths of a giant megalodon. You can see even how it would have been rooted inside of the gum line there. And to think that there would have been several countless re uh, replicas or copies of this same tooth inside a shark mouth. Um, I like that it's finished on both sides, although, uh, to be honest, I would never really display it outside of the box. I would be displaying it always inside, and I would be putting it on, like, a wall, for example. The coloring is almost a shinier, almost like a silverish black that they've cast, I'm assuming they've cast this in. Um, they carry a whole ton of different dinosaur claws, teeth, of course, shark teeth as well just a level of detail like just fantastic to think that this would have been inside of a giant monster a 
killing monsters. I've always been fascinated by sharks, Jaws being one of my all-time favorites, but it's uh, if I could think of anything on this planet Earth I would not want to do, it would be submerged underwater inside of a cage, because I'm not a big fan of water to start off with, and have a giant great white coming towards me. Now, you imagine a great white scaled up to be a megalodon. That would be a pretty terrifying experience. Um, again, like it's not overly heavy, only weighing at about one and a half pounds. Um, it is not... I would say necessarily fragile, but this is certainly not something that you would want to be putting up on its own. Keep it in its display. That's where it's intended to be. Uh, Master Replicas, I believe, currently has these all in stock if you guys are interested in picking these ones up. I also know of some individuals that are big shark fans, and even though we've sort of covered past the time of Christmas time, I could certainly see myself picking up stuff like this, for example, for their birthdays, because they're really big into sharks, and they certainly would love to have a replica of the Megalodon tooth as something they could put on display. We're going to go ahead, though, and I'm going to just put this back in the display case, because that's certainly the last thing I want is for something to happen to it. I like that also when they are packing it, they're packing it inside a very soft um, almost like a batting that they've they've mounted it against. It's not even so much mounted either. It's using using just for the fact that it's a thick tooth. It's sitting against the plexiglass top of the shadow box. And it does slide around a little bit, but certainly not enough not enough that it's going to be shifting around too much. I guess you could, in theory, take smaller versions, smaller versions of these pins, and maybe you could pin at least the sides of the batting so that the shark tooth has something to sit against. Um, it's just, again, really an incredible sight to see. Just imagining that, for example, this would have been not one, but certainly many of these teeth would be inside embedded into the jaw of the shark. Even the, the, and especially also with seeing the recent Meg that has hit theaters, people have had a newfound love and fascination for the giant killers of the Megalodons. And if you're certainly a fan of those, you may want to maybe pick up this one for yourself. Just before we wrap up this video, I also want to show you the flyer insert that came included uh, when this was shipped to me. Uh, up the top, they have a full scale, half scale, and quarter scale skull rep replicas even of the T-Rex. Museum quality replicas available from Smithsonian. And once again, there's their website, www.masterreplicasgroup.com. All items recreated directly from Smithsonian assets. They have the Trilobites, T-Rex Claw, to name a few. And we flip it around to the back to see all the other neat replicas that they have, ones ranging from Velociraptor Claw, the Allosaur Claw, Megalodon Tooth, which we're looking at today, the tri the Trilobite, and even a broken T-Rex Tooth. A couple of also di Dino-Ramas down, down below there, some display dioramas of various different dinosaurs. All again, if you want to check out more, you can head over to www.masterreplicasgroup.com. By the way, each of the Master Replica's fossils are hand-cast and hand-finished at their facility in Pennsylvania, USA. Every replica is cast in super strong, smooth-on resin for durability, and imported fragile polystone is never used in their recreations. If you guys are interested in picking up this one, as well as some of the other incredible artifacts, replicas that they have over at their website, I'll put the link down below. By the way, if you are interested specifically in the Megalodon tooth, the price point for this one is 33 US dollars and some shipping as well. Again, I'll put the link down below to Master Replicas, www.masterreplicasgroup.com. Today, we were having a look at the Megalodon tooth, the one-to-one -one scale. Uh, this was the fossil replica from the folks over at Master Replicas. If you guys want to subscribe to this channel, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. Certainly, more videos will be coming your way. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.